Blackthorn Events makes it easy to plan, execute, and report on your virtual events natively within Salesforce, taking the hassle out of event logistics and management. Our integrations with your favorite virtual meeting services allows you to create your meetings and webinars directly from an event record, making virtual event setup a breeze. Today, we're going to take a deeper dive on our Zoom integration, from authorizing your webinar account to creating those webinars directly from within Salesforce. To get started, we need to create and authenticate our webinar account in Blackthorn Events. Navigate to the Webinar Accounts tab and click New. Create a new webinar account record and be sure to set the provider to Zoom. The webinar name and provider fields are the only required fields for now. Everything else will be auto-populated once we authenticate with Zoom. From the webinar account record, go to the top right and click Authorize. This will allow you to enter your credentials and complete the OAuth with Zoom. Once connected, the webinar account will automatically update with the name, email, organizer key, and account key. Next, we need to add a few things to our event and attendee pages, including the webinar account, webinar ID, Zoom type, and password fields. We'll add the Create Webinar button to the event page, which will allow us to generate the Zoom meeting and populate the webinar ID field when pressed. Our documentation, linked in the description of this video, will walk you through this entire process step by step to get you up and running. Do note that this is just for the initial setup, so once you've completed this, you won't need to repeat these steps for future virtual events. When we create our new virtual event, we'll find the webinar account field and select our new Zoom account that we just created a few moments ago. Once saved, we'll go to the top right of the event record and click the Create Webinar button. This will create the Zoom link and auto-populate the webinar ID field. Make sure you do not change this ID, as doing so will prevent your attendees from being able to join the link. And once attendees register, they'll receive their attendee link like usual, which will provide them with this Zoom webinar we just created. And just like that, you've created your first Zoom webinar directly in Blackthorn Events. If you want to learn more about our Zoom integration and Blackthorn Events as a whole, install a free trial from the App Exchange or find us online at blackthorn.io.